In your Python function, you can provide keyword arguments and arbitrary arguments. Keyword arguments map arguments to parameters by name rather than their position in the function call argument list. You can provide a default parameter value, which is a default value given to an argument if it's omitted from the function call argument list. Asterix args is a function definition parameter that allows the function to collect optional positional parameters into an arbitrary argument list tuple. And double asterisk kw args, which stands for keyword arguments, is a function definition parameter added to the end that creates a dictionary of additional keyword arguments not defined in the function definition. So let's try out some examples of keyword arguments and arbitrary arguments in Python. All right, let's learn about keyword arguments by first creating a function called print person. And we're going to have two parameters, name and age. And we're going to print name age. Okay, we'll just keep it super simple. And let's call this function print person Bob. And Bob is 45. All right, there he is. And we can print out another person. Oops. Mary, and she's 55. There she is. Okay, what if you wanted to print out another person? Named Jack. And you have no idea how old Jack is. Let's see what happens. Oh, you get an error because it's missing the required positional argument age. So if you don't know what the age is, we could set a default value to it by simply adding an equals zero right there in the parameter. Now if I run the program again, Jack is zero years old, I don't have the error anymore, and he got set to the default value of zero. I can even set the name to a default name. Who cares? And if I print person and I don't pass anything to it, the name is now who cares and the age is zero. All right? You can even change the style the way that the name and age is printed, doing something like this. Style equals zero. Then you can say if style is equal to zero, this is the gonna be our default style to print out name and age. else print this new style name is age years old okay so by default they're all going to be this way but if we set and passed in a, a style number like anything other than zero, one. Bob is 45 years old, whereas Mary and Jack print out in the original default style. So let's get rid of that. And let's just keep it pretty simple for the next example I'm gonna show you guys. All right, make sure this still works. Oops. All right, cool, let's just keep two people in there. Bob and Jack, okay. Let's say you wanted to pass additional stuff to print person, but you didn't know what stuff you needed to print. You can add a third parameter called star args. Then you can pass whatever you want to this print person and it'll print it. This is not gonna print it. What we need to do is add some more text in order for it to know that it should print more stuff. So what we'll do is say for extra for all our extra stuff, we'll name it extra. In args, print extra. Okay, so this shouldn't affect our program, but let's say, just, just work with just Bob right there. Okay, let's say Bob is 45 and also his weight was 200 pounds. So it prints out the 200 right there below. We can actually pass more stuff to it, and Bob is 
engineer. And it'll print out engineer also. And if you wanted a dictionary of extra arguments, it's a little bit more useful. You can do KW args with two asterisks in front. And we can print that like for data, comma, extra in our KW args dot items, we're going to print data followed by a colon, then the extra item. Then we have to specify what it is, like job is an engineer, weight 200. Now when we run the program now, when it prints out Bob's information, now we know what the 200 means, it's this weight, and we know what the word engineer means, that's his job. So it looks like it's a little bit more useful.